Hi, this Adahua expands PTZ camera. So it has fixed lens. It also has a PTZ that goes for 360 degrees. Uh, it has uh, IR illuminators and white light. So it's a smart dual light kind of camera. Uh, it also has a built-in mic and speaker. So we are going to get the marks out of this, but today I'm going to do a simple demonstration uh, on how this fixed lens will trigger PTZ to do auto tracking and follow an object. So I'll come to the NVR. So this the NVR, I've added it as channel 1 uh, for the fixed lens and channel 2 for the moving lens. And one thing you'll notice is one cable, uh, one recorder, you get uh, one IP address but two channels. Now. Uh, to configure it, we'll go to AI, then I'll go to parameters, I'll go to smart plan and confirm in channel 1 that uh, we have IVS, so I'll select it so that it's enabled and apply. Once I apply, I'll come to IVS, uh, then channel 1 IVS, we will come to the bottom here and add. When we add, we'll enable it, rule 1, which is... Uh, we have multiple rules. So we have crossing virtual fence for the rule of triggering the event. A virtual fence is crossed. Then we have tripwire where we draw a line and if it's crossed from either direction we can trigger a line. We have intrusion where we draw a region and then if it's crossed we trigger an alarm. We also have abandoned objects. So if an object is left unattended it triggers an alarm. We have fast moving objects, so if things are moving rapidly, we can trigger an alarm. Then we have parking detection where the fixed lens can see uh, if a parking space is available or occupied. Then we have crowd gathering <laughs> estimation. Uh, with crowd gathering estimation, uh, it's the, like counting how many people in the area, and if they are overcrowding in that area, it triggers an alarm. Then we have the missing object uh, where if an object is moved from its original position it triggers an alarm we have loitering detection which detects uh, objects moving uh, randomly at no specific pattern and triggers an alarm so i'm going to use tripwire and i'm going to draw the rule so i'll click draw then i draw between these two points so this point a and uh, i'll move it towards the farthest end point b so if anyone crossed this line uh, we are going to trigger an alarm. Uh, sorry, sorry, let me draw again. So if anyone crossed this line, we trigger an alert. So once I've drawn the rule, uh, we, we set the target size. You can draw, leave it as default, then you change, check the direction. So I'll leave it for both directions, but you can choose A to B or B to A based on who is crossing which direction. Then we have filtering between human and motor vehicle, so you can enable this when you're doing the rule triggers. Then we come to trigger, I'll select trigger, and then I can do PTZ linkage and set which PTZ, so it is channel two. Uh, when I select the PTZ, I select preset, I select preset, let's say one, and then okay. So the moment, uh, this camera's rule will be will trigger. It will st activate the PTZ to follow uh, that object. Then I can enable a buzzer. I can link with an alarm system to do the tone and such. So I'll leave it at that. Then once I have this uh, with a preset, then I will ap apply my rule. Uh, once you've configured this, anytime you are going to have someone cross this virtual line this virtual blue line then it's going to trigger uh, an, it's going to trigger the PTZ so for instance you see once I've, I cross it triggers the PTZ to light and switch to that specific preset so that is the whole objective of using a fixed lens and a, a PTZ so it's triggering uh, something on the PTZ and we're able to see uh, what is triggered by looking at uh, the multiple views to live and tell you it is preset one that has been triggered. So you can set such things to improve your surveillance results 
and uh, get the best. And if you're using an AI and VR, you can even get the analytics uh, populated as you move. Thank you for your time. I hope that helps you exploit the most out of your surveillance system.